Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I woke up to a little surprise this morning that I want to share with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, but the best place to start before showing the surprise is to start out here to explain a little bit more. So we're going to start out here, and I'm going to show you uh, my chickens again. These are my chickens that God blessed me with. I used to have ten chickens. I'm down to five. There's one, two, three... I see four of them here. Look, 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 look. One might be in the chicken coop laying an egg. But there's my rooster. And so I just wanted to start out here showing the uh, the chickens because I hatch chickens all the time because I have predators. Uh, the beginning of last summer, I'll get up here where you can see them, sorry. Last summer, I started out with 11 hens and one rooster and then like I talked about you have unforeseen problems that you have and I had mites infest the uh, the chicken coop back there and it killed two of my hens and then I had a, uh, a bobcat get four of my hens so you got predators that'll come and try to get them you know we talk about possums raccoons foxes uh, and then bobcats, but at night they can stay in the pen, so they're protected from most of those animals, from raccoons, from um, possums. But during the day, the bobcats like to hunt during the day, and I have to let them out every once in a while so they can do their dust baths, so it cleans them up, so they don't get a lot of mites and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, I just want to show the chickens, and then I was going to show the surprise I got. Uh, now this wasn't the surprise I got. But there is Declan, the new addition to the family. Looks a lot like Victoria, but he's doing good. Declan, how are you? Yeah. And Declan, he's uh, three years old, and he's ex he's very got a lot of energy. So I gotta get back into shape so I can keep up with a three-year-old dog. I got so used to keeping up with a fourteen-year-old uh, dog. Hey, 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 hey! No, no, no! Stay out of that stuff. That stuff's bad stuff. Uh -huh. But that's Declan. That's Declan. That's Declan. So now we're going to go inside and show you the surprise I found this morning. Hello, brothers and sisters. Now we're inside, brothers and sisters in Christ. And i got to catch my breath a little bit. All the running around. It caught me by surprise because I wasn't prepared for this surprise this morning. I didn't have everything set up, which we're going to show and uh, it's just something God blessed me with doing, having chickens and everything. So let me show you the surprise I woke up to this morning. I don't know if you can hear them. This is my incubator that my brother bought for me. I was looking at incubators, talked about getting an incubator, maybe doing my own chickens. And he bought me this and helped make my decision for me, which was a good decision uh, to hatch my own eggs. But we get here. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. You take that off, and look what I woke up to this morning. Now there's two of them out. Good job, guys. Now I gotta leave them in. Like this first guy here, he's all fluffy. He's he's been dry for a while. He can go to our to where they're gonna stay. But this guy's newly hatched. You can see he looks a little wet. He still has some drying off to do. But you can see a crack in this egg here. Praise the Lord. You can see a crack in that egg right here. You can see a crack in that egg right there. Sorry about that. I'm trying to roll this stuff around. So you're not supposed to really clean these eggs that well when, the, when you're going to hatch them. So we've got three eggs that look like they're still going to hatch with these two guys. But I'm hoping to get all eight. I put eight eggs in here. So here they are. So we're going to grab one, we're going to grab one, got to make sure he doesn't jump out, and we got to take him, Declan, that's Declan, we got to take him to his new home, we're rushing really hard to get everything set up so I can get these guys out of there and into their new home, and Victoria, you really can't see Victoria, give me a second, Victoria's still alive and kicking, 
but she's very slow and she just kind of sits there and she'll follow me around. Some days she's got a lot of energy, some days she doesn't. A lot more days she doesn't, but some days she does. Victoria! Victoria and Declan kind of look the same almost. Almost look the same. But I'm using my daughter's, well, was my daughter's room. And we got this set up. You have to have the light. You got the food in there. Guys, no playing. No playing. They're just playing. But this is going to be their new home. And you set them down in there. And you let them set for a little bit. Now chicks can go several days without any food or water once they first get hatched. But he's going to have food there. He's got water there. It's a red light which makes everything look red. It's a red light. So this is their home that they're going to be in. So we're back here. We're checking on this guy. This guy looks looks dry enough that I could take him over here in a, in a minute or two. But uh, I got to get the lid back on or else it, the eggs will start getting too soft. And I just wanted to share that with you, brothers and sisters of Christ, that, hey, good, doing good things with your hands and good works with your hands is a good thing. So I uh, just wanted to share that with the brethren and show you guys Declan. And uh, just I'm wanting you to know I'm praying for you, brothers and sisters Christ. I love you, brothers and sisters Christ. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank you for all your prayers, brothers and sisters Christ. The email is still there to email me and fellowship. I'm on Skype. If you want to fellowship on Skype, I'm here, Brother Sister Christ. In these last days, I hear a lot of things in the world. A lot of things might be happening in the next couple of weeks, but we need to stay strong living for the Lord. And these hard times that are coming, we're not supposed to use them as justification to run for the hills and hide. Stock up and stock up and stock up to endure to the end and run to the hills and hide. When bad times come, that's when doors open. That's when we should be preaching the gospel more than we've ever preached the gospel. That's when we should start living for the Lord more than we've ever lived for the Lord. When you go through hard, hard times, I'm talking about nationwide, you're supposed to be a light. That's when you're supposed to be a light to this dark world. And you can't be a light if you're hiding in the hills. Okay? Be careful of preachers that start preaching hiding in the hills versus, hey, we see what's going on in the world. The catching away of the body of Christ is any day now. Get, get busy preaching the gospel like you've never preached before. Handing out gospel tracts like you've never handed them out before. Get busy living for the Lord and giving Him glory in anything and everything. Thanks in all things and glory in all things. Living for the Lord. Get busy. We could get caught up any day now, brother says Christ. So I love you and I'll say it again. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the glare, but I'll see you in the next video.